Good morning. This is Mark Soderberg, Senior Ag Market Analyst with ADM Investor Services with your Morning Grain Outlook for Tuesday, July 25th. Uh, prices were lower across the board here overnight uh, as prices have backed off and no breaking news from the Black Sea region. Uh, the UN continues to urge Russia to return to the Black Sea Grain Initiative. Uh, Russia has said that they will attend uh, a summit this week with African nations to discuss uh, their plan for grain supply corridors uh, and fertilizer exports. Uh, the market just continues to grapple with just how much grain will Ukraine be able to export uh, if their only supply route uh, is through Eastern Europe via truck uh, or rail transport. Um, so far, roughly 30 ships have been stranded along the uh, Danube River uh, following yesterday's Russian uh, attack on uh, uh, grain supply depots uh, up and down along the river. Uh, also, Russia, the markets also struggle with, will Russia lose supply routes through the Black Sea um, if there's any retali retaliatory strikes from Ukraine? <clears throat> Yesterday, speculative traders were big buyers in the egg space, about 24,000 contracts uh, of corn, 21,000 contracts of wheat, uh, 9,000 soybeans, uh, 9,500 contracts uh, of soybean oil, uh, and 3,500 contracts of soybean meal. Short positions in corn uh, are now down to roughly 25,000 contracts, and in wheat, uh, roughly 30,000 contracts, and that would be the smallest since uh, October of last year. <clears throat> the much-discussed uh, surge of heat across the nation's midsection uh, is underway. Upper 90s to low 100-degree temperatures uh, are expected through this upcoming weekend, uh, which will create very stressful conditions for U.S. corn uh, and soybeans uh, and spring wheat. <clears throat> there may be some opportunities for some ridge-riding storms to kind of go up and over uh, this ridge, primarily across the northern sections of the Midwest. That could provide some relief from this ex excessive heat, but organized systems are lacking. Uh, this high pressure ridge is forecast to break down uh, uh, or at least compress and shift off to the west a little bit, uh, which will provide some uh, cooler temperatures, especially across the northern half of the Midwest, uh, and better prospects for rain in both the uh, 6 to 10 and 8 to 14 day outlook. Uh, yesterday, China did buy uh, a small batch, about 4.5 million bushels of uh, soybeans from the U.S., their first purchase since late June. Uh, crop conditions yesterday, corn conditions held steady at 57%, uh, good to excellent. Uh, we are expecting a modest decline. I think the markets were bracing for some slight improvement. Uh, our ratings, uh, the ratings suggest to us a national average yield of about 173.5. Uh, that compares with the USDA at 177.5 in their July report. 68% of the crop is silking, while 16% is in the dough stage, both uh, just above the historical averages. Soybean conditions uh, did slip 1%, uh, 54%, good to excellent, in line with uh, what we were thinking. Uh, there, too, I think the market was bracing or expecting some uh, slight improvement. Uh, the, the national average yield, we, we calculate off of conditions at uh, around 51.3 bushels per acre. USDA was at 52 earlier this month. 70% um, of the crop is blooming, 35% uh, of the crop setting pods, both also just above uh, historical averages. <clears throat> Winter wheat harvest has reached 68%, uh, still behind the historical average of 77%. The spring wheat conditions uh, did decline uh, 2% uh, this week, while the market was expecting um, um, some steady conditions there. 94% of the crop is headed just above uh, its historical average. So expect uh, market volatility to remain very high, awaiting the next headlines out of the Black Sea region. Conditions this week here across the U.S. will likely deteriorate. Uh, however, moving forward, if we can return to more normal type uh, uh, temperature and rainfall pattern, I still think we're able to achieve uh, trend line yields or yields of uh, over 172 here in the corn uh, and 51 uh, bushels breaker in the soybeans. Uh, thank you for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day.